It is precisely through you that we hear the voices of the people that we serve here in Geneva. Nous représentons d'abord les populations qui nous ont élus. Nous sommes la voix des sans-voix et à cet égard, hein, nous, avons, euh, nous avons de très grandes responsabilités. Le trade peut améliorer vos conditions conditions. Le trade peut créer des jobs. Donc nous cherchons de la WTO et nos gens cherchent une multilateral plateforme. We, if they have a challenge, they can discuss it, engage. We have to demonstrate sincerity and honor the agreements that have been reached. And that should get reflected in post-Bali work program, which should be taken fast forward. Our objective is to use the constitutional leverage vested in parliamentary institutions to influence, shape and provide critical input into WTO accords, vested with unique powers but framed by consensus-based decision-making rules, the WTO has become a true laboratory of multilateralism. Public opinion is uh, increasingly focusing on uh, trade agreements. Uh, we know it uh, well in Europe uh, where the transatlantic trade and investment uh, partnership uh, with the U.S. is uh, under very intensive uh, democratic uh, scrutiny. As elected uh, representatives, uh, we act as uh, a vital link uh, between citizens and uh, decision makers. On the one hand, uh, conveying the views of uh, our electorates uh, to those uh, charged uh, with uh, negotiating uh, deals. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, by holding our governments uh, to account uh, and uh, ensuring our concerns uh, are heard uh, and uh, taken into account. We are aiming to build on our usual dialogue this year by strengthening our parliamentary outreach program, particularly for the developing country regions. The WTO is this year marking its 20th anniversary. So I think this is a very appropriate occasion to acknowledge the contribution that this organization has made with your support in terms of global governance and economic well-being. The system has evolved considerably over the last two decades. Uh, we have welcomed, for example, 33 new members and they range from very big, major economic powers like Russia, China, um, to the smallest and most vulnerable countries in the world. And with the package that we agreed in the ministerial conference that we held in Bali, December of uh, 2013, we have begun to finally update the multilateral rules. The Trade Facilitation Agreement is extremely important economically, but it also broke new ground um, on the disciplines itself. For the first time, for example, an agreement has a mandatory requirement to provide technical assistance for the countries that don't have the capacity to implement the provisions of the agreement. Las medidas de facilitación del comercio ayudan a profundizar la participación en las cadenas de valor al agilizar los procedimientos aduaneros, cortar costos, evitar retrasos innecesarios y reducir la incertidumbre. El acuerdo sobre facilitación del comercio, eh, como lo dijo el presidente, entrará en vigor cuando dos tercios de los miembros lo ratifiquen. Sería un gran éxito de la conferencia ministerial en Nairobi in December of this year, if in that moment we could announce its entrance in vigor. Here is where you, Mr. Parliament, Mr. Parliament, have the great responsibility to make sure that their parliaments ratify that agreement and, if possible, do it 
antes de, la, de diciembre próximo. Uh, we have also to deliver new negotiated outcomes. Um, we currently have negotiations in a number of areas in the WTO. Uh, some members are engaged in negotiations on environmental goods. Uh, there is also a negotiation on the expansion of the information technologies uh, agreement, uh, for example. And these are very significant agreements which would bring a major economic gains. Uh, and the results of those negotiations would benefit all WTO members, even though not all of them are participating in these initiatives, but the results apply to all. So the liberalization would be available to everyone.